what's your reaction to playing Central Connecticut? They're not exactly a household name in college baseball. Uh, you know, it's just the way it is. We're from the southern part of the state, so we don't hear those schools. And I'm sure some of those guys up there heard of Arkansas a little bit, but not too much because you're not familiar with it. But at the end of the day, we just got to get ready to play our game and, you know, see out there, get out there and see what we can do. There's a chance you can play TCU. Are you familiar with some of their players in that program growing up in Texas? Uh, a little bit, you know. Growing up there, a few guys that play summer ball with go there, and you know it's household name from where I'm from. That's where a decent amount of kids go. But at the end of the day, it's just another college baseball team, and you just got to play your game. Just the losses, like the UALR and, and the Northwestern State, kind of keep a perspective about Central Connecticut. That doesn't matter to put names on the shirt. Oh yeah, that's exactly true. It doesn't matter who you play or where they're from, what conference or the rank, all that stuff goes out the window once the game starts, you step in between the lines and whoever scores more runs and you never know what can happen in a game of baseball. You guys haven't been scoring runs at the rate, you know, you, for a while there you were averaging about 11 runs a game against SEC teams, a little, a little tougher of late. Just kind of, how do you feel about the, the lineup and maybe some of the hitting struggles of late? I mean, you know, that's baseball for you. You're not always going to be putting up double digits every game or sometimes you're going to struggle putting up three or four, but it's just the way it works and we're just going to keep on going forward and just keep on seeing how good we can be. After the last game in Boomer, Dave said something about he thought the team might have played a little bit into the hitting struggles. I mean, what have the last couple of days been like being able to get rested? And do you think that'll play a difference when you get back on the field? Oh, yeah, for sure. And all of us are ready to get out there. And, you know, postseason comes around and everyone's a little bit more energized and the aches and pains kind of go away because you get a little bit more rest over the weekend because you're not playing midweek. So that's, that's always nice and good for the team. Everybody knew you guys were getting a regional, but after you were on the road for almost two weeks with the travel days, how does it feel to be home? You know, I know you're going to be at home for a while now. Oh, it's, it's always good to be back in Fayetteville. You know, we get to sleep in our own beds and stuff, but no matter where we play, whether it's on the road or at home, we're always going to play our game and give it our best shot. Yeah, you guys had such good records at home the last two years. I mean, you're probably 60 and 8 or something. I'd have to look it up. But how, how confident do you all feel playing here? Oh, very confident. It's a tough park to come in as a weight team. You don't know the environment you're coming into. And for us, it boosts us up having the support behind us with all the fans. And it's just great energy and great atmosphere to play in. The whole team kind of slumping lately as far as hitting inning and putting your finger on. You all feel you're pressing too hard or trying too much for the home run or anything you can see. Uh, not really. You just got to gotta keep swinging it. You can't overthink it too much because that's when Stuff really ends up going downhill, so you just got to keep going with it. I think a lot of that was just the pitching you were seeing, because there were a lot of low-scoring games, one nothing games, two to one games. Do you think a lot of the hitting uh, struggles were just seeing really good pitching? Oh yeah, that was, you know you got to tip your cap. Some of those pitchers we faced are some of the top arms in the country, and they they had great stuff the days we faced them. And you know that's the way it works sometimes. But at the end of the day, you just got to keep hunting good pitches and taking good swings, and it'll all work out. They yeah, so they opened the selection show with that last year in Omaha. I wonder what the mood was like in the clubhouse as you guys were watching that. Uh, you know, it's just a little different. You know, it's something that's sore to all of us, leaves a bitter taste in your mouth. But, you know, that's something you got to live with. It's life. Not everything's going to be all freaking rainbows and stuff like that. You know, you just got to keep going. So you guys didn't throw baseballs at the TV screen? Oh, no. We were, we were all just soaked it in, you know, kind of let it fuel us because it's – the way it is, use it as fuel, and hopefully brings out the best in us. Yeah, I know you're not obviously throw, throwing, uh, uh, making throws to, to Trevor at first, but he was the All SEC defensive first base. He never played that position before. What did you think of the season he's had over there at first base? Oh, he he's had a great season hitting and defensively. He's been stellar over there. He every play the ball's hit to him or infielders throwing a ball across. You know he's going to pick it or come down with it and make a great play for us. What's he been for you guys at the top of the lineup as a leadoff guy as far as you know setting the table? He gets a lot of walks. He's obviously hitting a high for high average. Oh, yeah, he great leadoff guy to have for us. High average, walks a lot, gets on base. He just always gets the game started, runs up the pitch count, lets us know what the pitcher has. You guys are playing the early game uh, Friday. I guess how do you feel about that? Oh, I, think, I think it's good for us. We get out there and just get going. And, you know, Coach Van Horn talks about it just in case maybe rain pushes it back or whatever. We'll be able to get our game in that day and not end up playing super late and we have a little bit more time to rest for game two. Played the early game last year, it was still kind of like the same preparation 
set up for you guys? Oh yeah, it feels, it feels like the same going into it. Uh, just getting ready for Friday for that game one.